Well, hello YouTube. How's it going on this hot afternoon? I am now working on this uh, 2004 Explorer and I just got the intake gaskets on it the other day. Got the uh, PO430 taken care of and would you know, <laughs> I think I drove 100 miles and I had a check engine light come back on. I had a PO420 and uh, I've been having some issues with this 420 code and it kept telling me that the catalytic converter was bad on bank two, which is the driver's side. Now, in my previous videos, uh, three or four videos back, you can see that I had changed out some catalytic converters, and I ordered two of them. And uh, the first one I ordered, I stuck on there, ran for a while, 420 came back on, and this was a brand new catalytic converter, and you can see the date there. Then, I called the guy, sent him an email, and he says, well, we'll send you another one for free. I said, well, my... Uh, code reader says that it's not working <clears throat> and i couldn't figure out why and of course i uh, look inside there i mean the honeycomb or whatever that stuff is i don't know uh it looks okay so they ordered me another one they sent it to me i stuck this on drove it for half a day and the light came back on hooked my code reader back up on it and i uh, did a waveform and it says it's not working so uh, i got real frustrated i said there's something wrong so i was going to order a bigger catalytic converter now the old one that was on it let me see if i can find it now it's sitting right here it is a much beefier one and of course uh it's shot i cut it off and i thought well you know i can order one of these and it would be no problem well let me just say uh, you got to be careful what you're doing because a lot of times these are not big enough for the emissions for the computer to work uh, in a nutshell the o2 sensor behind this uh, catalytic converter that's uh, sensing what's coming through this is not detecting that it's cleaning up the uh, gas as well enough so i decided to go to the junkyard and i went out and got me a used one here and a lot of times you can't even buy these because it's illegal they won't let, uh, resell these so i just cut one off of another uh, vehicle off of, off of a truck same size and everything and there's what's left of it where i cut it off and would you know i stuck it on the vehicle and it's on this side over here and i don't feel like getting up there and showing you if i stick the camera down here i don't know if you can even see this uh maybe a little bit right there i put that one on there and would you know that took care of the problem when i hook up my code reader now the waveform is just like it should be it's pretty much flat lined on the second o2 sensor and i can't believe i went through all that because i had two bad catalytic converters so I guess the point of me making this video is I want to warn you guys, if you're going to go out and buy cheap catalytic converters and you think they're going to work, you might want to check. Uh, I've read some places where uh, some vehicles require 400 uh, honeycomb per square inch. Uh, this is a whole new science for me. I understand catalytic converters and all that, but sometimes you got to make sure they're big enough for your vehicle. My vehicle is only 4.6. And uh, it, this is supposed to work up to a 5.9, so I don't know. So be aware if you're going to buy any of these. And here's one that says uh, 4, April of 2017. And this one was made uh, April 2017. So these here, I don't know. They're probably junk. I don't know. Maybe they're just some kind of cheap Chinese uh, stuff that they make. Anybody else has any experience with these catalytic converters not working? Uh, let me know. Let's go in the vehicle real quick, and I'll show you what uh, the junk one, well, the good one here off another vehicle. Matter of fact, these are factories, so you know these are compliant in California and New York. A lot of these catalytic converters here are not compliant in California and New York, so you got to be really careful about ordering these. And the reason I went out and just hunt up a used one is I wasn't going to wait five days on the Internet for them to send me another one, and I couldn't get one locally. It was going to take two weeks, so I just went hunting at the junkyard. All right, so we're in the vehicle now, and we'll pull up some data here real quick, and let's see what we can get. Right now, there's bank two, sensor one. We'll check that and go down to bank two, sensor two, and we'll view the data, and we'll graph everything. And I'm going to show you what a good catalytic converter should look like, especially on the oxygen sensor. Now, you see the top one there? That is the first O2 sensor going into the oxygen into the catalytic converter and that is the second o2 sensor coming out it's cleaning up that catalytic converter is actually cleaning up what's uh, doing its job it's cleaning up all the crap that's going in and it's coming out and the o2 sensor is detecting that and saying hey the cat is working before 
The two new ones that I bought look like that. The waveform looked identical. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they were just junk. I don't know. But you can see that waveform is looking really good. And I'll bring the idle up a little bit to about 2,000 RPMs. And we'll uh, show you how it changes there. And you can see how that looks. So that catalytic converter is working, and it's a used one. The guy I bought it off of, he said that it was working. They just junked the vehicle. So I uh, just wanted to make a video and let you know. Do yourself a favor. If you have a PO420 or a PO430, get you a cheap OBD2 code reader like I got here. And learn about these waveforms. They're pretty simple. If, if you have an O2 sensor before and after the catalytic converter looking like that, identical, you know your catalytic converter is not working. But if you hook it up. And you see the second sensor saying, you know, they're trying to work, and it looks like that, pretty much flatlined. And you know the catalytic converter is trying to work. You just might have a, a gasket leak or an intake leak somewhere, just getting some unmetered air in the vehicle, in a nutshell. So I thought I'd make a quick video, and you can see, look at that. That is working really well right there. It's pretty much flatlined. The voltage isn't jumping around a whole lot compared to the front O2 sensor. That's what we want to see on a working catalytic converter. So I figured I'd just make a quick video to help you guys out, maybe uh, to uh, keep the confusion level down a little bit. So I don't know, I guess uh, when you order these, make sure you order these big enough for your vehicle. Maybe go to the manufacturer and say, what size catalytic converter does it take? Uh, these smaller ones, maybe they're working, but they're just not working good enough uh, for the emissions. So other than that, uh, I figured I'd make a quick video and help you guys out a little bit. And before I end the video here, the vehicle look, is looking really good. I mean, I got some really good tires on it. I'm getting ready to sell it. I got someone wants to buy it. Uh, the thing runs great. No problems whatsoever now. I hate to get rid of it, but I'm going to buy me a newer one later. And you can see it looks really good. Good tires and everything. It's just I dealt with that catalytic converter issue for about a week and a half couldn't figure out what was wrong with it i thought maybe there was uh an air leak somewhere but when i hooked the obd2 code reader up and checked everything uh, checked for unmetered air going into the system it said it was running the engine was running perfectly normal so sometimes these problems can be just staring you right in the face and you don't know it Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you won't have any issues like I have, but if you do, you'll know where to start at least. So until my next video, guys, stay cool and uh, be kind to one another, and I'll see you then.